Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my Sunday stream, Artistic License, where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today, we're gonna be playing some more of our Final Fantasy X to New Game Plus. Welcome in everybody, welcome in. Hello Super, how are you doing today? I'm gonna open up my LaCroix and we are gonna get right into the game today. We've got guava today. All right, all right, got my controller, it's time to go. Okay, that looks like it's good. Turn up a little bit. Okay, show them the game. Come on, there we go, okay. All right, we are gonna go from um, from here. We've got a couple more places we need to go in chapter two, which is where we are. Um, we are gonna go down to Mushroom Rock Road. I wanna show you guys the difference for what happens in Mushroom Rock Road when you choose the uh, Youth League. So we chose New Yevon before. So we have a totally different Mushroom Rock Road situation. Hey, it's the Gullwings. It is the Gullwings. Oh, hey, so you really are going to join the Youth League. I mean. <laughs> Lady Yuna, thank you. Um, for what? Surely this is the day that you will honor us by joining the Youth League? Well, <laughs> occasion. Oh, I have long dreamed that this day would come. Sir. Well, actually, that's not why we're here. <laughs> Don't worry, the Youth League will give the Gullwings a grand welcome. Please proceed to headquarters immediately. They got happy ears. Let's go, please. This way. Oh, Clasco. If you'll excuse me, I have duties to attend to. <sighs> Clasco, how you doing? I see you've got it rough. It's nothing. Oh, I can't do anything right anyway. Oh, I can't go on like this. I've got to find my place in the world. I believe in you, Clasco. Believe in you. Okay. So, um, I think because we didn't do the Mushroom Rock Road during Chapter 1, that's slightly different, but I do think if we go back and talk to him... At the end, okay, yeah, he's not here. So if we go back and talk to him at the end, we can still like let him on the Celsius and uh, and do all the Chocobo side mission stuff. So we'll find out at the end of this Mushroom Rock Road if we can. <coughs> mm, bless me. Okay, so instead of um, encountering the Youth League as bad guys this time, they are gonna literally escort us and help us get past the big old Marlboros. So that's the big difference that we have here. And we're not gonna get stopped at the end. Thanks guys. Definitely don't need your protection, but um, I appreciate it. So we don't have to fight fiends along the road like we did when we chose New Yevon. Buddy here. We're picking up some weak sphere waves near you. Hmm, I don't see anything. It's probably in the ravine. Do you see a way down? Okay, we'll take a look. Be careful! So because we skipped this area in chapter one, it's just pointing me towards the fact that there's the ravine situation, um, but I am really not worried about that this run through. Okay, we'll walk slow. Try not to anger the sleeping Malboro. We did it. Made it past. 
thanks to the help of our escorts. I don't think there's anything to be careless about the rest of the way. Oh. Oh, there is fiends. Okay. I thought it wouldn't give us any fiends at all because they were escorting us, but maybe we walked too far away. That's okay. We just beat him up. Boom. Your fire don't mean nothing to me. chest over here for this chapter what's up you guys welcome back i never i never was here in the first place koneko hello how are you doing today how were the horsies yesterday or do you still go in the winter or is, is it cold for them i can't remember oh my gosh i just realized your wavy mode is mickey I love Mickey. Lady Yuna! Oh my gosh, it's Elma. So, is it true that once the Gullwings join the Youth League, you'll be in charge of your own division? Girl, you got happy Let ears. Yes. Everyone's talking. Uh, this story just keeps getting better and better. We just helped out the one time, really. I knew it. I thought it sounded a bit strange. Elma knows. I mean, you seem like the kind of person that decides things on their own and then just does whatever they plan to do. I can't picture you joining an organization or an army or anything like that. The only character that understands Yuna in this game. Um, hello? Just as I thought. I've reprimanded Yaibel for spreading such ridiculous rumors. It's highly unprofessional. Yeah, but think how great it'd be if it were true. Still making the pitch? Uh, no, absolutely not. I know that words alone are not enough to sway Lady Yuna's heart. The heart is not moved from without, but rather when the time is right, it moves of its own accord, from within. Preach. Finding the place where one belongs is by nature a personal journey. Isn't Commander Lucille amazing? Such wisdom! <laughs> I learned it all from my troops. Excuse us, we have a strategy session to attend. Farewell. Come and see us again, okay? Lessons still go in the winter. The horse using their exercise even more when it's cold. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, I suppose they would, huh? All right, we can't disturb their meeting. Okay. All right, so those were some scenes and uh, pieces of dialogue and things that we did not get to see last time because of choosing New Yevon. Um, so I just want to double check how many percentage points that gets us. Oh, hey, Maroda. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, you're you're a good soldier, Maroda, for the, the Youth League. So let's save and let's use our little handy dandy. Oh, wait, no, new save data. Yeah. New stream, new save data. Okay, let's check. I did. I forgot to open. I gotta open the thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so a hundred point eight. So we went from a hundred point two or four. What were we at last time? Yeah, we went from 0.4 to 0.8, so we got 0.2, you get 0.2% um, from those interactions. Okay. 
Okay. So then to go back, the easiest way is just to board the airship and then land in Mushroom Rock Road again. You know, I should do more exercise in the winter. It probably would be beneficial, but it's so cold outside. It's so cold outside. Okay, oh, I thought Clasco would be here. Can you not do the, uh... Can you not do the Chocobo stuff if you don't visit Mushroom Rock Road in the first place? Because he's not here. Yeah, he's totally not. Okay, so that's what happens if you skip Mushroom Rock Road in Chapter 1. You can't do the Chocobo uh, side quest at all, it looks like. Because he's not... Let's see, he's not going to be back here, is he? Mm-mm. I guess without that initial conversation um, that you have in chapter one, he's just not feeling so confident about you. Okay, so that was the scene that we had. All right, next we're gonna go over to Jose Temple. And the reason why we're going over there is um, two, well, two reasons. One, we're gonna do some of the main part of chapter two, but there's also some publicity that we can do here. So this lady right here, publicity, we'll do the third one. Oh! Oh, this is the wrong lady. This, we're supposed to do the first one for her. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's fix that. Because we just, we just saved, so. Oh, it auto-saved us too. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this lady is the first one. And this one is the one where you do the third one. There we go. This guy we do again. Second one. Okay. And then we're going to go down this path. Hey, here's some goons. Okay, this lady right here, you do the third one. This guy right here, you do the fifth one. Uh, this one right here, you do the first one. This guy, you do the fourth one. And then this lady in purple right here, we do the third one. Okay. Then we're just gonna walk down this way because this mission actually takes place on the, the road in between Jose and the Mushroom Rock Road. Hey, what's up you guys? How you doing? Um, excuse you, I am not dull. Okay, whatever. We're gonna walk this way. Hmm, that's weird. Where did we drop that thing? We gotta find that sphere or the boss will be furious. We might even get the heal. Why don't you stop complaining and help me look? Hey, did you hear that? I heard it. Let's find it first. Someone's turning Yuna into a bad girl. Who? No one. She's always been a bad girl.
Oh wait, we can get this. So you can get Floral Falal twice. So and since we didn't pick up um, Payne's was. one, we got the unerring Path Garment <laughs> Grid here Sorry instead. I appreciate you finding it for us, though. What? You're not giving it back? The nerd. His face there is too funny. The Why does he look like that? These meanies won't give me back the sphere. <laughs> so then we take it back. Yeah, Logos. Stand up for your boyfriend. Take it back. All right, let's beat him up. So since we realized that we can't do the Chocobo side dungeon, we are gonna not end up getting another AP egg this uh, this go around. But that's okay. Really, only wanted the dungeon for that item. We don't really need it. Mission complete. All right, next we are gonna head over to the Moonflow. We do want to get um, episode complete for Moonflow, so we are gonna do the mission there. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have some really good lurk emotes, Koneko, you really do. Thank you so much for the lurk. We love our lurkers here. Okay, so we're gonna go over and talk to Tobli, and we're gonna do the ticket mission. Hello. But the tickets aren't selling. We'll end up with an empty house. That's like a full house with none of the people. What do you say? Will you help me sell tickets, that is? I'll leave pricing to you. You can cash in if you sell high. Mm, come on, Uni. Let's give it a shot. Okay. With the Gullwings in charge, we'll sell out for sure. Imagine the crowds. The rest is up to you. We do still need lots of gill uh, this go through because we need to buy the other garment grid from open air. So this mission is good to do anyways. All right, this one right here, we can sell for 1500. Then we're gonna go all the way back to the beginning and sell to that one Elbad lady at the exit. Because we can sell to her for 1500 as well. And get a good profit and this um this route that i do for them is the max skill this is the max skill you can get um it's not the most efficient like a lot of people when they recommend like how to do this in the guides and things they won't say go all the way back and talk to this albed lady um because it's just not worth it like she's so far away but i want the gill and i'd rather take the time and get the gill so we're gonna walk all the way back to her plus like it won't kill me to do some random battles and level up Okay, so she's got fountain, and then she's going to move on to doing her sandals. Now oh, she's already doing her fishes. Okay, she's got a couple more before she goes to her masks. And if you are impatient, this is the HD version of the game, and in the HD version you can uh, speed things up, so, you know, you can run at uh, the double speed or whatever. Okay, so for her we do 1500, yes, okay. Then we gotta go all the way back, and back to the other screen, where the save sphere is. We won! 
An empty win. We almost had a cleaning disaster this weekend because uh, we have to clean the house. My parents are coming for Thanksgiving on Monday. And uh, we discovered <laughs> yesterday, uh, no, day before yesterday on Friday, that the battery on the Roomba was dead and was like, oh no, I don't want to lug out the gigantic vacuum. I really don't want to do that. But luckily, um, we were able to get a battery from Amazon and uh, it was only 20 bucks and it got here really fast. And, and we were correct, it was the battery. And so that's all we needed. So disaster was averted and the Roomba is good again. I need to run it in the spare room for them, but you know. Okay, this lady is also 1,500. And then we're gonna go to the docks. And uh, this lady right here, right? No, this guy? Yeah, okay, this guy. Um, you can do 1,500. Uh, okay. Oh wait, I mixed it up. Right? Hang on. Well, while we're on this screen, we can do publicity with this kid. It's the fifth one. And we can do publicity with this kid too. And he's also the fifth one. Okay. I thought this one was a ticket. Is this one a ticket? Okay, this one's a ticket. Okay, he's 1500. The guy before that we just sold to, we sold it for 1500. We should have done 2000. For him, that guy in green in the corner, um, we messed it up a little bit. So we, we miss out on just a little bit of the gill we could have got, but it's okay. Right. Now we're gonna ride. I just didn't read my notes correctly. I mixed them up. All right, this kid right here, you can sell two for 2,000. Yeah, I know you have enough, kid, I know. Uh, this lady right here, you can do publicity with, and she's the fifth one. This one, you can do a ticket, and for her, you can also do 2,000. Uh, this person in green right here, you can sell it to um, for two thousand. This guy you can do a ticket to. He can do fifteen hundred. I love how these people all think that the top price is like the best price ever. And before we talk to the guy, because that guy's the last one, we're going to talk to the elderly lady and do publicity um, for the first one. So that's done. And then this guy right here, you can sell your last ticket to for 2000 And then it's going to teleport us back to Tobley. Well, did you sell the tickets, I mean? You better believe it. Every last one. Splendid, simply splendid. Did you hear that, everybody? Oh, yes, oh, yes, before I forget. I've got to pay you your profits. Hell yeah. Lastly, a little bonus for selling all the tickets. Thanks. I guess it's worth trying anything. Yeah, yep, Payne. Yep, it was an absolutely amicable arrangement. Everybody's happy. Oh, we're really looking forward to the show. Mission complete. Now, of course, we did that before, so that's not going to get us any additional percentage points.
All right, next stop is Guado Salam. Okay, the reason why we're going here is more money. <laughs> we need more money. Uh, so we are gonna do the thing where we search with this guy in the end to try to get the correct data. We need, it's the last person you would expect. So let's talk to him and try. Someone loafing about indoors. Okay, that's not what we want. So we try again. Last time this really did not take us too long, so hopefully it will not take us too long this, this go around. All right, I need your good gamer energy. Your good luck. Okay, third time's a charm. Nope. Fourth attempt. Oh, didn't mean to. This is an inn, but you can't rest here. <laughs> he says no. Okay. Number five. Okay, number six. Nope. I closed the game, but it's not cl it's not closing. Y'all still hear that music, right? What the heck? There we go. That was weird. I didn't want to fully close. All right, lucky number seven.
Nope. Looks like I got something in my eyeball. Like my eyelashes are sticking together. Maybe I didn't do my mascara good today. Uh, okay, number eight, I think. Let's see. All right, try nine. Nope. It did that weird stuck clothes thing again. All right, number 10. This is try 11. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope. Lucky 13? Nope. Also, that's a terrible hint. It's a woman. That's a terrible hint. That does not help. Fourteen. Final Fantasy fourteen, the um, acclaimed MMO that you can play for free up to level one zillion. Nope. Oh, excuse me. 
we try again. Numero 15. Nope. We can't give up now. We're on try number 16. We have to do this. Nope. About to have more attempts than there are mainline Final Fantasies, number 17. We keep getting that one. Yeah, I haven't the slightest clue what this guy is doing. I don't even know who that goes to. What is this, attempt number 19? I think. Okay, 20, it's another round number. We gonna get it this time. Nope. We keep getting the LeBlanc one too. All right, 21. Nope. Twenty-two. Nope. Twenty-three. Nope. 
All right, chat, how long should we keep going? We're on attempt number 23, and he's not coming up. Because there are plenty of other ways I can get Gil um, on a new game plus. Because I have, like, the lady luck with the gillionaires. All right, this is attempt number 24. Nope. <clears throat> All right, attempt twenty five. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to move on from this. So you get a bunch of profit if you get the um, last person you would expect, and then you sell it back to the innkeeper. But you can see that happen in my um, first playthrough that's on my YouTube channel. We're not going to uh, do this forever. And it, the RNG is uh, not cooperating. It normally does not take me this many attempts. Um, so we're just going to move on from Guado Salam. All right, next stop is... Makalania. And we're going to finally get our item. That we that we missed last time because it's um it's exclusive. There's certain items you can't you can't get all the items in one playthrough. So we're gonna do Makalani. We're gonna get that. Okay. There is publicity here, so you can do publicity with this guy, the first one. And then if we come this way, there's another publicity guado. Right up here. You guys remember this from chapter one? So you can talk to this guy. Fourth. All right, now to get our item, we gotta go talk to this high pillow. Hello, gold wings. Good to see you. Oh, it's Toby's assistant. Would you mind doing us a favor? What kind of favor? <laughs> She's throwing a festival. <laughs> Sound more upset, Pain. Dancing in celebration. We're seeking musicians for a troupe, yes. Where could they be? So you want us to help you find them? We're counting on you, Gullwing. Don't worry, we got this. Thank you. If you find musician, give them this letter, yes? Okay, so the first musician if you guys remember from the first playthrough of this, is up here on the iridescent pathway. And then down to the spring that's on this side of Makalania. And it's our bird friend. What's up, dude? What business do you have with me? We have a letter from someone named Tobley. Do you think you can help him out? Thank you, Sol. I must speak with my friends. It is not my right to decide for them. A moment, please. Okay, and y'all remember this uh, mission from the first playthrough. We gotta find the butterfly circles. 
How strange. I cannot hear their voices. Their minds must be closed. What do you mean? The spirits of my friends often become butterflies and drift through the woods. If it is no trouble, why don't you seek them out and ask them yourself? It's no trouble, dude. We will find your friends. Okay. So, the first one, we've got these two little ones that we can find right here in this spring. Cat girls love Final Fantasy, as you probably know, Soul. Okay, so then we're going to go down the normal woods path, not the iridescent pathway, because there's a couple of them here. Oh, my nose is so itchy today. I think I'd get too many cleaning products up in it from trying to clean the house. Chabokabo! Sorry, Chabokabo. Not really. Had to do it. I mean, he would have run away, but whatever. He shouldn't have come for me in the first place. Okay, so the first one is this right here. And you jump down like this. And it's another small one. Then we can head back. And we can take the iridescent pathway instead. It's a little faster. Yuna, money mass. We got this. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. All right, here's another one. Huh? What can I do for ye? You can well, help me out. We need musicians. I, I, I can help ye. If it's music that you're after, just leave it to me and the lads. Thanks, Donga. All right, now we got to find the big version of um, what's his face, Pudo, whatever, the horn one, the little one. So he should be, I think, no, is this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's in the south area right here. I hear you, lady, with your little meows. My kitty cat in here meowing. Well, one of them. Hey, lady. You'll come say hi oh, to the dear. people? Oh, Oh, my. You startled me. Whatever could the problem be? I have a favor to ask. No, I do not mind at all. We'll play our songs and have a ball. You're so cute, lady. You're so cute. Alright, so we are back here, and we are going to talk to our bird friend. We found everybody. My friends do not seem to object. We will help you, Tobli. We shall present a great event. We'll get more a real gas, you'll see, eh? Yes, it will be a brilliant finale for our doomed kind. So sad. Doomed? If only all the faith had stayed, the woods would never ever fade. But it looks like we'll be meeting our end someday soon. You don't need the Aeons to have faith. Don't worry, you will learn soon. 
You guys already know this. Okay, so you get a hay spangle for that, but that's not really what we're after. Uh, no, we're not going to return to the Celsius quite yet. Oh, Trommel's here. I don't think... Is this the, from chapter one, since oh, we missed it? Hi, Summoner Yuna. Forgive me for the grief I have caused you. How have you been? Oh, yeah. Well... I guess because we missed him in chapter one, he's here now. With Lord Seymour gone, we Guado are hardly different from the dead. Huh. Oh, so can you talk to him? Many oh! Lost so it's another opportunity to get Payne's sphere. Seymour. Those who survived swore vengeance for their fallen comrades. We Guado sealed ourselves away in Guado Salam and strengthened our defenses. Mm. But soon we no longer had the strength for even this. Now we live among the shadows of these woods. Trommel? It's very sad. Very sad, Trommel. Hi, Samana. Do not trouble yourself to show sympathy for the Guado. We once walked willingly with Lord Seymour, never questioning, even as he led all Spira into madness. Lady Yuna, it's true. I cannot ask that you forgive us, only that you forget us. Trauma. Ah, oh, well, what brings the High Summoner to these woods? Well, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Hmm. A sphere hunter? A sphere hunter. We, uh, hunt spheres. You don't say. Hmm. Well then, uh, please allow me to give you this. Uh, it is of no use to us. Score! Thank you! There we go. So if you miss full throttle in chapter one, you can get it again in chapter two. Okay, but let's go for what we're really here for. We're really here to talk to our Hypello friend again, so let's go do that. If we did everything correctly, he should give us a different prize this time than last time. So let's go find out. What's up, dude? Thank you for finding the troop. Here is a present for you. There we go, Minerva's plate. So we got Minerva's plate by doing things in the certain way in um, Moonflow as well as here in Makalania. So this is an accessory that you have to do it that certain way, so you can't get it on a 100% playthrough. Let me show you what it does. There we go. Okay. Dramatically increases magic power, but what's the point? Oh, okay, okay. So, um... If we go to equip it... You can see that it uh, drastically improves your magic, but reduces your strength. So, yeah. Um, and you can see... Let's see. Nitro black magic. So it really, really improves your black magic. All right, uh, let's get back on the airship. Okay, I wanna show you guys what happens if you go to Bavel when you choose um, Youth League. So let's hit up Bavel. Hey y'all, I'm home. You! No Youth League sympathizers may pass. 
Okay, so just like the Youth League, if you choose the other faction, they literally attack you. Um, so both of them, both of them do not care. They don't want to listen to you. Um, if you choose the other one, they are like, no. If you're not with us, you're against us, is basically the attitude. Now you can fight your way all the way down to the end, but the doors at the end are going to be locked to you, so there's like no point, there's no scenes, there's no nothing like that. So let's save and see if doing that gets you any percentage points. I don't believe that it does. I don't believe that it does. So we were at 100.8. Um, so let's check what we're at now. Yeah, it's still 100.8. It's still 100.8. So we got the 0.4. Yeah, okay. I had the wrong math. It's 0.4% that we got at Mushroom Rock Road. But here at Bavel, it's 0% for this scene. This is part of why choosing a youth league if you want to get 100% on your first playthrough is required. Just because of the different percentage points that you get for the different scenes um, that vary with the factions. Okay. We're done with this. Next, we are headed to Beaconel. We skipped Beaconel in chapter one as well. So I'm gonna show you what happens in Beaconel for chapter two. There are some changes because we skipped the first time. And we have to go here anyway for chapter two mission. <clears throat> Suspicious signal detected. All right. What's up, Nadala? I'm busy, so make it fast, okay? I've got lots to excavate and no one to do it. Yuni, show her Gipple's letter. Oh, so you're the new guy. Yes, yeah, so you have to get Gipple's that letter. Does. If you don't have it, she sends nice you back to, to get you. it from Gipple. Hmm, I guess the High Summoner's hard up too. Well, don't be expecting any special treatment. Right. We'll send you out there by hover. Go talk to the pilot about it. Oh, before you start digging, I'd really like you to go check out the oasis for me. Don't worry, Some not a lot. Stuff's been washing up there lately. I'd appreciate it if you looked into it. I got this. That's what I wanted to go anyway. Oh, hey, what's that? Look, a sphere. Machine Ma. So yeah, Payne's um, summon well, dress sphere thing is missable, but the other two girls are not, as you can see. So we're not doing like everything and we're still getting them because of the stuff we have to do. To water, but you can't make it drink. Um. Say, those are nice uniforms. Mm hmm Enough of this nonsense. Oh, she got ice fish. All right, second uniform acquired. All right, now we're gonna pop into the calm lands. We've got a quick pit stop we need to do there. Oh look, it's these guys. 
I summoner Yuna. I am Leon Ronso. We have not met. Nice to meet you, Leon. And this is? Aid Ronso. Hello, Aid. <laughs> we are happy to meet you. Leon and Aid hear many stories of Lady Yuna. Elder Kimari tells of your journey together. But please, do not speak to Elder of meeting Leon and Aid today. Why not? Oh! You must be the two kids who left Mount Gagazet, right? Kimari's really worried. Should we take them back? Probably. Yeah. Too late! What? They can really move! Fast kitties. Not like the Detroit Lions. Okay, so let's go check on our PR points. I think we messed up like one or two of them, if I remember correctly. So we have somewhere around four, 400 points, almost 500. Okay, so we're publicity level three at 478. So yeah, we did mess up one of them. We need to get up to publicity level five, so we will need to do some publicity in chapter three. But not all of it. We'll be able to stop at some point. As I showed off in the first, in our first run through every single of one of them. So we're not gonna do all of them. We're just gonna do publicity up until we get to the level five required for the unlocks that we need. So we're not still going to be doing publicity in chapter five like we did before. All right. Next stop on this chapter is Mount Gagazet. Kimari. Kimari, sorry. Sorry about what? Kimari look for sphere for Yuna, but Kimari find nothing. Kimari disappoint Yuna. It's all right, Kimari. I'm not disappointed, Kimari. Of course, I'm happy that you've tried to help, but Yuna has to deal with Yuna problems. Kimari search mountain long time, but still one place Kimari not look. Fate scar rises high on mountain. Scar is sacred ground. Which Ronso not tread. Hmm. There might still be some spheres up there. Summoners no longer climb mountain. Now only sphere hunters come. Kimari worry hunters defile sacred ground. Do you think it's LeBlanc and her goons? Maybe we should check. Is that okay? Kimari trust Yuna. Kimari not worry. Okay. So we can Ron talk to him again. Filled with anger. Hate Guado. Kimari must stop fight. But Kimari not wise enough. Okay. So um, instead, this time, we're going to say, instead of you have to figure it out on your own, you say, why not just leave them Ron alone? So destroy Guado, not get back lost friends. True. Gain only sadness. Kimari think you not know this. That's true. That's true. Okay. So let's save. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the raid, new friend. Naeem, thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for trusting me um, with your with your community. I really appreciate it. Oh, heck yeah, team highlight. Oh my god, okay. We need a shout out for you. Why is it not working? Because I can't spell, that's why. 
There we go. All right. Yes, um, we love Highlight. Highlight is uh, Jill's raid team. So if anybody is not following our Highlight friends, like you absolutely should be. Naeem, what were you uh, playing? What were you, uh, how was your stream? Please tell me all about it. Or if you need to go take care of yourself, do uh, after stream care, please feel free. Um, all of that lurking is welcome here. Uh, all of that stuff. So yes, whatever you need to do, Naeem. This is my first time here. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome Raiders and Naeem. So I will tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Karen Terry. We do a lot of different kinds of streams here. We do um, a lot of games that focus on good stories. So we're playing through Final Fantasy X-2 right now. We actually have already played through it once. We're doing a new game plus. I'm going for 200%. I do a lot of completionist type of things too. Like we have a 100% run of Final Fantasy X. We have a 100% run of uh, Majora's Mask. Uh, things that we've done in the past. So now we're going for the 200% run of 10 too. Welcome in Jar, Bink Jar Blinks, welcome in. Is that supposed to be a reference to Jar Jar Binks? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I also do a podcast. So it's kind of monthly-ish is the podcast. So we will be talking about the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes movie that just came out in December. That's going to be our podcast episode. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the types of stuff we do here. Variety streams, we love Final Fantasy, Pokemon, um, Legend of Zelda, things like that. It is, haha. -ha. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, 10 is my favorite Final Fantasy. You have amazing taste, Naeem. You have amazing taste. This is my first FF played in 2020. Oh, 10 was your first one you played? That's awesome. I love 10. It is absolutely my favorite um, Final Fantasy, which is why it was one of the first games that we 100%ed on my channel. So, and, I, and I've come to love 10 too. I did not like 10 too at first, but as our 400 follower thank you, we did a full playthrough. I finally beat 10 too, and I decided I was wrong about 10 too. It's good actually, and not just the combat. There are good parts of the story as well. It's not as good as 10, but it's good. 10 too is good still. Um, also playing seven, Final Fantasy 7 OG once a week. I love 7 OG. 7 was my favorite Final Fantasy before 10 existed. Um, also played Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Integrate, and now Crisis Core. Nice. I've never played one. You know, I actually got the Pixel Remaster, and I would love when we're done with Ten Two 2 to go back and play all of the Pixel Remasters of the earlier Final Fantasies. Because there's a lot of them that I really haven't played. Like, I played 6, um, of course, you know, when it was 3 in the US, but 6. But really, the other Pixel ones, I don't have a lot of experience with. Either I've barely played them, or I haven't played them at all. So um, I would love to do some kind of first playthroughs of those. Must be up ahead. You mean, we're supposed to climb this? Yes, Riku, you're supposed to climb this. No wonder the Ronso never come here. Look! Never caught you live before, I'm usually asleep. By now it's midnight for me, I'm in South Asia. Oh my gosh, well that's why we've never crossed paths. I didn't even know, I didn't even realize you were actively streaming. Um, so yeah, uh, I am definitely an early bird type of sleeper, so like I never catch my South Asian or Australian friends streaming unless it's like late for them and like early in the morning for me, you know what I'm saying? I saw your intro on Team Highlight Discord, just checked again, I have so many friends to catch up there, right? I'm so sorry that we always miss each other. I played so much Sims 3 and 4, hell yeah, hell yeah. We love Sims 2 here, that's another game we play a lot, although it's kind of on pause because we're playing a lot of um, World of Warcraft with the hardcore out instead of Sims 2. But we'll get back to Sims 2 at some point. I like Sims 3 as well. We are Sims 4 haters in this household, though, I have to, I have to say. Um, I don't hate watching Sims 4 streams, though. I just don't play it myself. Um, but I like Sims 2. That one's my favorite one, so that's the one I actually stream. And Sims 3, I did enjoy. When it was kind of the main Sims that was out, I did play that one on my own. You know, Twitch wasn't really a thing then. I like the Sims 4 Vampire Pack. <laughs> uh, I do like vampires. Yeah, in most of the Sims, I like the vampires. I like the werewolves in most of the Sims, too. I loved um, playing through with a werewolf when we did that in my Sims 2. All of her family wanted to cure her lycanthropy. Such cruelty. 
Okay, we don't have to worry about trying to get the hot tub scene this time because we already did it last time. So we're just gonna barrel on through. We're just gonna barrel on through and get that uniform. I have some decent hopes for Sims 5 though. You know, it looks like it could be good. Um, I'm gonna give it a try and whenever it comes out. So I am hoping for a better experience than Sims 4. Because it's definitely my least... Sims 4 was my least favorite of the Sims games. And uh, it's almost kind of like... You know, except for EA's uh, monetization practices, it's almost like I don't think that they could make something... make a Sims less for me than Sims 4. So Sims 5 has to be better than that. Can you believe there's a hot spring up here? Ugh, oh, it's like the Ronzo's private getaway. Think it's okay? Did you work like this? We need to find that thing pretty soon. Talk about it all you like. I don't see how we're getting up that cliff. LeBlanc's not going to like this. Hey, not that it matters, but just how old is she? <laughs> you got me. I can't tell whether she's spicy or just seasoned. A hot spring. <laughs> Sounds nice. Yeah, so slightly different scene know, here since we did it this way. Uniforms. Let's do it, Riku. I don't know. Isn't that a bit much? They're the ones slacking off. Exactly. I love Yuna too. She's my favorite, like Final Fantasy, like main girl heroine hey, character. She's again. so good. Your little helpers are taking a break in the spring. They wouldn't. They did. Look out! Look out! trying to sneak a pee. <laughs> what? Hey, I've got a reputation to think of too. You know? Okay, or me. I was 20 years late to Final Fantasy X. Better late than never, my friend. It is better late than never. That game is so good. I know that the fact that it strictly terms turn-based doesn't um doesn't like uh, translate as well for a modern gamer. But the story is just so good. I think if people can like get through the fact that it is straight up turn-based random battles, the story is so worth it. And for me, it's really nostalgic, hey, so I don't care. Did you just hear someone say peak? <gasps> the goings? Yeah. Or is it the peeping tom wings? Not us. Army was peeping. How clever. Another flawless victory. Yeah, I can play 10 um, again every couple of years, and there's still multiple spots in that game that make me cry my eyes out. Brother, how is everything? So good. Mission accomplished. <laughs> we found ourselves a uniform. Roger, we're on our way. All right, that's our third uniform. So once you get the third uniform, as you guys remember in chapter two, it pushes you towards all the stuff that you do at the end. So um, it's time. It's time now to do the end of chapter two, which as y'all remember is quite long, <laughs> quite long and involved. Well, it's perfect. We look so cute. We're off to Chateau LeBlanc. We're all femgoons. All right, so now we are forced to go to Guado Salam. I hope this works. It's totally gonna work. Worry after we're caught. Okie dokie, let's change. Sorry to run out. I hope we can catch up later. We can totally catch up later. I gotta be responsible for adult and work in nine hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Get your full eight hours, friend. Get your full eight hours. That's very, very important. Do not lose sleep over Twitch. I hope you have a good sleep and a good day at work tomorrow. Yes, I'm gonna have to try to catch you, okay? I have the whole week off next week for Thanksgiving, so I'm gonna be on the lookout um, for your stream. So hopefully I will be able to catch it. Because if you love Final Fantasy X, I know I would love your stream. 
I will, I will. Thank you. Done yet. Where's the sphere? <gasps> I'm not a regular streamer. Oh, I understand. Not everyone can keep a schedule. But I'm still gonna look. Anything for you, love. Now I finally know the location of Vegnagun. Spira is in for a rough ride. Take care. <sighs> yes, love. Oh, how long must we be apart? These days without you are not easy on me, love. <sighs> yes, I saw. I wished her happy birthday. Hopefully, I don't know if she's streaming today. Um, but I did wish her happy birthday in the Discord. The boss is a different poison when that Nooch guy shows up, huh? Suppressing her natural charm and acting like some housewife, she must be tense. You, go to the boss's chambre and tend to your duties. What duties? You know, use your talents to help her uh, unwind. Okay, so... She's live in a few hours. Okay, we should raid her then. We should, because if she's a few more hours, then hopefully she'll be live when I'm done. And we can say happy birthday. All right, so it's time for the mini game, you guys. We are actually going to try to not win so that we can get the other prize. Uh, we got the golden hairpin before from winning, but if you don't win this game, you get a different prize. So I'm gonna show you, try to show you guys the different prize. I'm waiting. Okay, here we go. Attempts to not win. Stop that. Oh. Stop that. That hurts. Okay, it's actually kind of easy to not win. <laughs> Dang it. I can send you the kudo board link if you want. Yes, please. Please, please, please. I need to post something there. Stop that. Stop that. Uh. Oh. Watch where you grab, you klutz. Do it again. Thank you. Thank you. I'll go grab that from my whispers. Okay. Um, so we already failed once. I think that's all we have to do to unlock the other got the wrong spot. The other thing. I will. I will, Naeem. I'll say that you're sleeping, but you said happy birthday. Uh. Uh. Uh, there. Uh. Oh. You've got the wrong spot. Ow! Stop that! Ooh, you're good! Okay, I think since I failed once, it's gonna give me the other accessory this time. When did you get so good at this? Uh, um, I, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a 
spot. Oh, right there. Yes, don't stop. Ah. Nuji Wuji. Such a manly man, don't you think? He can be blunt, but that makes the occasional smile all the more irresistible. That godly smile. That's the whole reason I became a sphere hunter. <sighs> oh, if only there was some miracle sphere. Something that could make him truly happy. What I wouldn't give. <sighs> she fell asleep. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Oh, I'm that good? No, you failed the first time. The boss fell asleep again. <laughs> One massage and she's out like a light. We've been waiting for her to, because she had something important to tell us. We shall never know what that is. We'll just have to keep waiting. Yeah. In the meantime, you, go make sure the switch panel is working. Uh, switch? The back of the living room! The same one as always! Okay, so... For that, you guys remember, we're gonna go downstairs. And we're gonna find the secret passage. What does it do? Let's find out. That's it? What a letdown. Whoa! Riku! Oh, whose idea was that? Yours? Take it up with the boss. <laughs> boss. Wow, pain. this thing on too long let's change it's true clothes definitely change your personality and, and what you do it's true it's true that's why you have things like uniforms and dress codes it's the ritual of it this is brother how's it going so inconvenient Be brother quiet this is a covert operation over and out Don't worry, we'll kick y'all's booty again. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. Okay, so she's still okay. Poor Pain. Poor Pain is behind. Riku got a head start. Okay, we're gonna save. And the chest, I think, is in this room. Yes. Okay, yes. Heady Perfume. So because we failed the first time, we get Heady Perfume this time.
We should have killed the fem ones first, so we wouldn't get the magic on us. All right, let's see what's in Logos's room. Hey, this isn't the sphere they stole, is it? Let's watch it. Hmm. Let's see. Total survivors of the final Crimson Squad selection. Exercise, zero, zilch, and zipball. Job done. Are uh, you pinhead? Did you even count? Look, there are bodies missing. There should be three more candidates and their recorder. Mm-hmm. Four missing. Uh, your point? Three plus one makes how many? Four still live. Fix it. Yes. Figures. Did you say something? No, sir. I pay him no mind. It's a dud. Only naughty girls would scrounge through other people's bedrooms. That's what you say, Logos, but you stole from us. What about you? You're the ones who broke into our airship. Right, Riku. The boss's orders are permission enough. They just love getting beat up by us. It's like their favorite. How many times? Like so many times. Oh, I guarded against it, whatever the heck that was. Never underestimate Yuna. That's right. All right, now we have to defeat the booby traps. Very easy. Here's a switch. There's a switch. Okay, now we run. <gasps> Last switch. Okay, now we can proceed. And apparently they have all these fancy locks just to hide an additional bedroom. That's it. And it looks like it's LeBlanc's bedroom, so it's like LeBlanc has two bedrooms. Somehow. Some way. Like a, a master suite and then a personal one. Be in here, right? 
Let's split up and look. Yuna just staring at the one sphere the whole time while they're actually hey! looking. Found it. Huh? Now I get it. I was wondering why they'd bother stealing half a broken sphere. Of course, they already had the other half. Mm-hmm. Very good, loves. I went through a lot of trouble gathering those pieces, all for Nuji Wuji. So don't you lay a finger on it. Let's get them, boys. Yes, boss. Time to clobber the robber. Goodbye, little girl. I love how hers is like not so mighty guard. gonna hear you scream from down here w wait a second I'll let you see what's in the sphere yeah let us let us please the sphere is yours to watch mission complete The evil butterfly organ, Vegna gun. That is the Colossus, Vegna Gun. We finished our analysis of the spear. It appears to have been recorded underneath Bavel. I see Bavel hasn't lost its old fondness for secrets. No, it hasn't. Exactly. Those Yevon scum have been concealing that weapon all along. If anyone uses that thing, Spira is done for. But it's a machina! All we have to do is shaky-shake our way up to it and take it apart. Mm-hmm. That's what Nucci's got in mind. And of course, whatever he's planning is what I'm planning. What about you? Me? The summoner who defeated Sin ought to stand up and defend Spira again. LeBong, don't tell her. Mm. She wants to do it anyways. So, then I guess we're on the same side. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Waiting where? Don't be silly, love. On your airship, of course. I've always wanted to take a spin on that thing. They're robbers and now they're Ever hitchhikers. Sin is gone. The calm is here. I thought our peaceful days would never end. The eternal calm. I really believed it would last forever. Until now. I've realized how fragile it can be.
first things first, we are going to the bell. Full speed ahead. So bossy. You just wait, Blondie. You know, what next? She's off to save Spira, of course. Right. <sighs> uni, uni. Always getting herself dragged into trouble. We're going to Pavel. There should be lots of spears there, so why don't we hunt for them on the side? Uh-huh. <sighs> Just admit it, love. You're a goody-goody. Ah! Oh. <gasps> All right, and we have to go to Pavel. You can't go anywhere else. Locked in for the story. So how are we going to do this? Um... It's obvious we nab the head honcho. Then we make him lead us to Vegnagun and checkmate. Not bad. I got no problem with this. Our target is the new Yevon Praetor, Barilai. A girly man like that doesn't stand a chance without his escort. Careful. He's much stronger than he looks. Company. Who goes there? <laughs> it's those Youth League spies. We won't have you defile this place like you did in Kilika. Oh, see, different lines this time. Since we sided with well, the Youth League. Good luck. Wow, LeBlanc. Good luck. And we gotta fight our way in. Instead of just walking in. Another flawless victory. Mission time. Okay, can I use this? I guess I can't use it. I have to fight my way in. So yeah, when you choose New Yevon, you can avoid all of these fights. When you choose Youth League, you cannot. We've got bigger fish to fry. Did he just say are are? <laughs> are are. And this child is scared of us now. It's the gull wings. And brings more guards. <laughs> I'll save you. Yeah. Yeah, now you're going to traumatize this poor child more because I'm going to kick your booty. These guards don't attack me, curious enough. Don't know why. They just don't. And then once you get up here, like, they just kind of ignore you too. You just have the music. Like, bad things are gonna happen, but they don't attack you. Okay, we gotta go this way first, I think? Remember, we gotta get the pedestal to do what we want it to do. Okay, yeah, and then we gotta go to the other side and climb in the hole. And then the pedestal should go down like we want. Jeez, 
things really are a mess, huh? Yeah. Super mess. Temples reek of secrets. Don't let a couple of fiends throw you. And you remember this area, we've got these um, required battles that you have to do with the fiends that are around here. We're not going to have as many because we're not going to go for all the chests and show all of those like last time. Bell, so Never creepy with the no battle music in the battles. Okay, once again, the high pillow follows us for a shop. We're going to save really quick. Keep on going. Hear that craziness? I hear that craziness. Hole where Bahamut used to be. Let's go. Oh, now LeBlanc decides to show back up, huh? Alright, we go down this way. Right? It's totally over here. Oh my gosh, where is it? Do I have to talk to LeBlanc first? Oh, I have to see this first. Sure you don't. But I'll make an exception this time. Leave it to us, love. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, LeBlanc. Okay, now it should let me go down here. Right? Yes. Okay, and we I wanna get a third ribbon. We have two ribbons. I wanna get a third one. 
So we are going to do the whole thing that opens up the bottom to get that ribbon. Water fish. Okay, so this is Tower 1. So we're going to defeat Tower 1. Okay, we go around this way. This is tower six, we're gonna skip that for now. This is tower five. We're gonna defeat tower five. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we're gonna come around here. This is tower four. We skip that one. This is tower three. When we activate tower three, it's gonna activate the first boss. We gonna kick his ass. Let's see, what have we not? Have we not we've not seen ice sandals. Let's see it. Oh, we've seen all this. So I guess the sandals is like it'll do like a random, you know. And the fish is always the the three. She's got all her fish. I need to go see what Riku's got up next. Like, what is she learning? Goodbye. Okay. Once you defeat this boss, you can go down, but we want to get the ribbon, so we're not going to go down quite yet. I want to take a look at Riku. Okay, oh, she's learning gravity fish, okay. Okay, so to get to the, um, to get to the ribbon, we need to do tower two first, so we're going to go back and do tower two. Think, oh no, this is tower four. Dang it, I did it wrong. Hopefully that doesn't affect anything. I don't think it does, but I walked the wrong way. I should have kept going forward to get to tower two, because we were at three. Okay, so this is, this would be tower three that I was just at. So this is tower two. Yeah, okay, so we need to defeat tower two.
Okay, now I need to go defeat Tower 1 four times to get it to rotate. This is time number one. This is time number two. Okay, this is time number three. This is time number four. Okay, now we gotta go to tower six. Pop out another little slab. Oh, he's oversoling this time. That's funny. For all the times we fought him before. Oh, geez. I actually need to heal the girls. Goodbye. Do some heals. Oh, we got lots of potions. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna go back and defeat Tower 1 two times. Trying to slow me down. It can't be done. Well, it can be done on Yuna. Not the other girls. You're about to be gone anyways. one again. Man, I've defeated him oversold so many times now. I think it's funny that in this game sometimes the oversold versions of the bosses are a bit easier because of what they do or don't do. So much bubbles from the LaCroix today. Okay, so then we're gonna go to tower number four. So that one was one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. I think. Oh no, but we already did this. So I think we don't do tower four. I think we just go to tower five and do the multiple defeats for it. We need to defeat tower five three times. because we already popped out the slab for that comes with tower 4. So that's time number 1. Number Maybe I do need to do Tower 4 again because I feel like it's not doing anything. Like, the rotation's not happening. Okay, let's go back to Tower 4. I messed it up doing it in the wrong order. Okay, let's try this. We'll go to Tower 4. And then we'll try beating up Tower 5 again. Okay.
Okay, there we go. Now we rotating. Okay, and I can see the one from Tower 6 is probably not in the right place. So we might have to redo a few more battles too. But I think this will put this this platform, Tower 4's platform, in the right spot. Jeez, I need to heal. That SOS Regan is nice. Okay, so let's go activate six. And then let's fight one, I think a couple more times. Oh, I forgot to heal them in between. That's okay, Riku got that SOS reg and should be aight. <gasps> wow, the death actually got pain, I can't believe it! Don't worry, pain, I'll revive you. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to do one one more time. Let me just hop down there and make sure that I can't get there. I'm pretty sure I cannot. Okay, yeah. We'll do one, one more time. And this should do it for our ribbon. Oh, I thought that would get him. There we go. Now he's done. Okay, there we go. Okay, did the order not quite as efficiently as I could have. A little bit wrong, but we still got there.
And there it is. Our prize. Okay. We are actually going to pause there for our break time, you guys. Um, when we come back, uh, we will we will finish up Bevel. Now, if you are watching the VOD, the recorded VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.